Hey everybody, um, this is Jill. I'm here. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Norwex and I'm just going to do sort of a brief run through of some of the products that I use to clean the house. Um, I will preface this by saying I'm not a salesperson, but I absolutely love this product. Um, I love it for so many reasons. Um, one of the main reasons is it's super environmentally friendly. Um, you don't have to use paper towels and harmful chemicals in your household. You, um, there's no waste. You basically just buy some of the cloths and then after using them, you hang them up to dry. And I will explain that in a second. Um, this is actually, there's only, there's a lot of product in the catalog. You can see there's tons of product, but you really need a few things to get started and then you can kind of grow um, your product as you go along. Um, this is the main, I would say the, the main cloth behind the Norwex brand. Um, this is the um, Enviro cloth and basically what it does is you can clean all of your surfaces with it. You're going to clean windows with it. You will also add this for windows, but we'll get to that. But you clean your wet, you can clean your all your surfaces with it. You wet it, and then as you clean, you just go around just like you would any other rag, and you clean your surfaces. So um, it picks up 99% of the bacteria. There's also silver embedded in it that will deactivate the bacteria once it dries. So after I'm done with this, I usually just hang it up and let it dry. And once it's dry, it is completely bacteria free. So, and they call that the backlog. Um, so a lot of people have seen, I posted some videos a while back um, about how I clean my windows or any glass surfaces, even stainless steel. So this is, these are the two cloths you would need for that. One, and that's actually our basic package, which is the Enviro cloth and a window cloth. And so what you do is you just wipe the window clean and you just wipe all the surfaces. I do this inside and out. I can usually clean, and then I go back over it with the window cloth and you just kind of wipe down and it is spotless. And I usually, I have to go outside as well. I want my window to be spotless because we have these giant windows and they get dirty pretty easily. This takes me approximately 10 minutes to clean my windows inside and out. And I have, I don't know if you can see, um, my husband Phil is helping me, but we have lots of windows in the front of our house, including the back of our house. So um, that is how I clean my windows. So once again, that's with the Enviro cloth and the window cloth. Um, I also clean my bathrooms with an Enviro cloth, and we'll get to that in a second. For dusting, I take a dusting mitt, I put it on my hand, and then I just go around all my surfaces. I dust, I just wipe it down. You can actually wet it as well if you need just a little bit of extra scrubbing power. Um, but I just go all, I just did this the other day, so I shouldn't have too much. But I just go all around my surfaces, clean everything, and my house stays pretty dust free. When I have, and you can even go around your baseboards if you'd like, um, it collects dirt um, really well, it collects dust, dog hair, it's fantastic. I have this little um, scrubber, and so after I'm done dusting, I just take it over to the trash, dust it off, done. I don't wash it, but maybe once a week if it's really dirty. So moving on, we will go to, um, oh, and I also wanted to show you, I'm going to draw a line on my hand with this Sharpie. Just want you to see this, okay? We're going to let it soak in for a little bit, and then I'm going to show you how to remove that. Um, so then we'll go to the mop. The mop comes with two different pads. One is a wet pad, blue like the ocean, think water, and then the yellow like the sun, it stays dry. This is um, more to collect dog hair, dust. You would want to do this before mopping. So you just put it down, you attach the mop with some Velcro, I mean it has the Velcro, and uh, to adjust, you would just turn this, that's it. You can make it however high you want. And then I will turn it back to make it tall because I'm a giant. And I just go around my house. You, they say to do a figure eight movement if you want. Um, where I'm a dog. But I don't always do that. Um, the best, for me, the best place to do this is like under any kind of furniture, under the bed, that sort of thing. So that is how I swimmer my whole house with this. You can also, um, there's a lock on it where you can lock it to where it won't swivel. And you can use this for like, 
fans and that sort of thing, or above, like, I guess you could use it for this as well. Um, however, I just usually stand on the stool to get that with my dusting bit. So then I go around my house with this, same kind of thing, you can take it where you can leave it on the mop and actually take it to the trash can or the sink, whatever you prefer, and dust it off. My house is fairly clean because I just mopped today. I'm kind of obsessed with the mop because I will say we have porcelain tile floor and we have a dog and so we mop quite often. Um, this mop is actually wet because I've been using it and so you just lay it, you wet it beforehand you lay it on the ground, attach it, and then you just do, they say to do a figure eight kind of motion. And this is the best mop. I've had a million different mops. Um, for one, you're not using the reuse of, I mean, it's reusable. You're not having to throw away the mop pads every time, which is fantastic. Um, and the best thing is it actually picks up dirt and cleans my floors. I had another mop with microfiber, with a microfiber pad, and it did not pick up anything. I would literally go to the sink and I think it would just move the dirt around. This actually picks up dirt, okay? So it's fantastic, it's my favorite mop. If they're a little pricey, if you host a party, you can you can usually get one of these um, for free. Uh, usually you'll either earn the credit, August is actually mop month, and so you can get a free mop if you host and you, I think your order has to be 550 or more, like if you have an order for that much. So anyways, something to possibly think about and look forward to. Moving on, we're gonna do the bathrooms next. So for the bathrooms, I actually have another Enviro cloth. Um, I, they're color coded, so like this is my kitchen or surface, interior surface Enviro cloth. This is strictly for my bathroom because I don't know, I just like that I don't use a cloth in my bathroom and also in the kitchen. Although you can because it picks up 99% of the bacteria and it deactivates it. I'm sure it is safe. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna to take to the bathroom plus this. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here's my bathroom. Um, we have this uh, vanity is actually a wooden vanity. Um, so I could use my dusting mitt on that, but this is actually sealed pretty well. So what I would normally do is wet my Enviro cloth. And I'm kind of making a mess. It takes me like 10 minutes to clean my house. Maybe that's an exaggeration, but it's very fast. I just wipe all around all of the surfaces. Mister, watch out. My dog is always in the way. And I clean all my surfaces. I wash the sink. And it's picking up all of the bacteria. And then I'll usually just rinse it off because you just rinse it down the drain. And then I'm going to do a brief tutorial. Okay. So, okay. I would continue to do that. I would usually wash it off. And then you can also do the same for the windows or for the mirrors. Excuse me. I would wipe my mirrors down just like that. It takes two seconds. Use my window cloth to scrub anything off. Totally lint free. Ta-da, I even use it on my, um, my light fixtures. So another favorite is the bath mitt. This, you would just wet it as well. It has two different sides. It has one side that has, that's really um, got a rough uh, surface and that's good for any kind of residue left in your tub we have very, um, I get we have brown water, so we have a lot of minerals in our water, and this literally takes them off. No chemicals. Do you guys get this? No chemicals. We're not using Fabuloso in our house. We're not using any toxic chemicals in our home. It is all water in these um, cloths. So, Phil, I don't know if you can get this, but I literally go around and with just a little bit of um, scrubbing power, I can clean my entire tub. And I usually have the water on as well while I'm doing this. I'm going to show you because the mitt was very clean before I did this. Okay. So I would probably spend more time on that. 
But look at this. Look how dirty this is already. It has that film because, our, like I said, our water is just very hard here. And so we get that film all around it. But this literally cleans my whole tub and the showers and everything else. Amazing. With just water. Okay. So, moving on. I'm trying to be quick. Um, we have a few more items I wanted to show you. This is a body cloth that we actually use in the shower, in the bath, um, instead of soap. It cleans you. It works. My husband was super skeptical. It works. You wet it just like a washcloth. You use it on everywhere in your body. Um, it's amazing. This is a face cloth that you strictly use to take your makeup off, a makeup remover cloth. I'm going to show you that, that marker that I had, right? Let me put my hand down. And it will literally take permanent marker off of my hand with just a little bit of scrubbing, which is amazing. And that marker's been sitting there for a while now. So just one cloth in water. So imagine what it does with your makeup. It takes it right off. It's amazing. And then, like I said, you rinse it, hang it up to dry, has the back lock in it, so it's going to deactivate any bacteria. Done. Okay, the one of the last things I'm going to show you, this is a veggie fruit fruit cloth. Um, let me get let me get a carrot out of the refrigerator to show you. So what you would do with this is you can oh, is you can wet it. You can wet it and you can take this. It has a really rough side to it and you just kind of wipe down the carrot and it, it, it cleans it, first of all. Of course, these are organic, but if you don't have organic produce, and even so, you still want to clean your vegetables. And then, okay, so it basically cleans off all of the, the oils and the any kind of sprays that are on the produce. And then you can take the other side and polish it up. Look at this. Good as new and ready to eat. And it's rolling off the counter. Done. Okay, I also wanted to show you two more things. One really cool thing to me is um, stainless steel. We have it, and it's a pain to keep clean. I use my same with the windows and glass cleaner. I use these two cloths for everything. So for my stainless, I just wipe down the cab. I mean the uh, dishwasher, refrigerator, stove, whatever. Do the same thing. I just go over it with my purple cloth. And then as soon as it dries, it looks spotless. No, um, no fingerprints. Oh, I didn't, I kind of missed the spot. And it dry, it has to dry for a second, but as soon as it dries, it dries clean and to perfection. The last thing I want to tell you about is our laundry detergent. Um, all of this stuff, you can wash it in your washing machine. Do not use any hard, like harsh um, laundry detergent, preferably like something with no um, fragrances, maybe something more natural like seventh generation or there's all kinds, method. Um, Norwex does have one that you can use and it seems very pricey. I'll be honest because when I first saw it, I was like $20 for some laundry detergent. However, and this is just a sample bag and I've had this sample bag now. I've been using it every day. Because we usually do like almost a little laundry a day. You literally only use a half of teaspoon for a huge load of laundry. If you have an HE, um, a high efficiency washer. So this, this is it to clean all of your clothes. That's it. And you also do not, you can put them in the dryer or you can hang them up to dry. But you do not want to use dryer sheets. But people don't use them anyways. Dryer sheets are full of chemicals and they're very harmful. They're not good for the environment and they're not good for your skin either. So you don't even have to use them. That's one less thing to buy. Okay, I think that kind of wraps it up. Um, if you guys are interested in anything, and like I said, there's tons more product. And even this, this is a lot of product. Um, you don't necessarily have to start with this. I would say just for house cleaning purposes, if you really need to start with something, I would say an Enviro cloth, a glass cleaner, and the mint. 
And look, for extra measures, you might want to throw in this just because this is great to dust the mitt with. And it really, you can actually use this on your drapes if you have long linen drapes or any kind of drapery. Um, this will literally, the stuff will fall off of it in balls. It's a maker, it's great. It's a great brush. I've had it for seven years. Um, okay, so that's it in a nutshell. Um, please review, and if you want anything, let me know. Thanks.